Russia says talks are taking place to include Syria's Aleppo province in the latest temporary truce, as once again the diplomatic machine cranks into gear, shaken by scenes like this. A foreign-based monitor reported more deaths on Saturday. Two-thirds of the estimated 250 civilian casualties in nine days of bombing are thought to have died in government airstrikes. Moscow has said it will not ask Damascus to stop the bombing. With U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry in Geneva for more talks, Washington has accused the Syrian regime of predominantly targeting civilians. The Americans want a ceasefire to extend to the whole country, not just around the capital and Latakia. But some observers believe Damascus may be getting the upper hand in Aleppo and has no interest in stopping. As the UN tries to bang Washington and Moscow's heads together to prevent a complete collapse of talks, on the ground aid has continued to be delivered. The Red Cross says supplies have begun to enter Zabadani and Madaya, where earlier this year a government siege brought reports of starvation. Aid trucks also entered Al Fua and Kefraya in the northwest province of Idlib, which are surrounded by insurgents in a joint operation between the Red Cross, the Syrian Arab Red Crescent, and the UN.